first off, Victoria, it's a thing here on Worldwide Exchange, the word of the day. What exactly is your market investing economy word of the day? I think, Tom, I'd have to say my word of the day is opportunistic. There is so much going on this week. We obviously have a huge earnings week ahead of us that's giving us insight into so many different elements um, of the market. We've got consumer-related stocks, transportation stocks, manufacturing, restaurants. There's a whole gamut that you have this week that can give you some good insights as to what the economy is doing. So I don't think you're going to want to go in all one sector or make big sector bets at this point in time. I think you're going to want to be very opportunistic in your trading. Okay, so where is the opportunity then? We, we, if we're not going to be thematic about where exactly we're picking things out, you're implying that it has to be more stock specific. So what stocks then would appear more attractive or opportunistic to you, Victoria? Yeah, so we like names within different sectors. As we said, the breadth um, we haven't seen as much as we would like to see. So we are going to be a little bit choosy. But based on our um, opinion that we are going to see growth slow down, that we might have a recession later this year, we're kind of going down the scale when it comes to what consumers are spending. So a name like TJX, you want to have some exposure because there's going to be volatility in the market. You want some of that cyclical exposure, but we're doing it with a TJX. That, which is where we think consumers are heading, kind of similar to the McDonald's story that you were talking about a little bit earlier. So we think there's some opportunity there. We still like the energy space. So Marathon Petroleum is a name that we've added to recently, just trying to get some of that, um, not just refining component, but transportation as well. So we feel that that's a good name. And we like the healthcare, the biotech space, Lilly, we think is a good long-term holding in your portfolio. So we would go ahead and add a little bit of Lilly or maybe even a Gilead to your portfolio. Okay, Victoria, I also want to call your attention to some headlines we're getting out of Bank of America in terms of their fund flow survey, something closely watched by investors. They're saying that they saw the first U.S. equity inflows in four weeks and that hedge funds were the sole net buyers along with corporates for stock buybacks. Also, that tech led inflows, which is also true year to date. And we saw the first inflows into financials in four weeks. Technology, is that someplace that you want to be? Is there an opportunistic uh, uh, area in technology overall? I only, I only ask because there's a lot of tech earnings coming out this week. No, you're right. It's a busy week for tech. If we're going in the tech space, we're not going to go for some of these high-flying, these FANG names where we have had massive run-ups so far this year. We're going to look at some of the names, um, maybe like an IBM or like a Cisco. I think you can find some tech names that have more growth opportunity associated with them from where they currently sit versus a name like an NVIDIA or another name that has gone really high, um, Tesla, for example, some of these others. So I would look maybe at a different class, the um, what we call less sexy names sure. um, in the tech space, more profitable tech.